All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, today we have out one of those arcade PCBs that I received from Ken6275. And uh, I said that I was going to make some videos here trying to repair these, and we're going to give it a shot. I figured we could start off with the JAMA ones first, and then kind of work our way back to the non-standard JAMA ones. Uh, I think there may be a couple of them. But uh, as you can see here, this is Lethal Enforcers. It says it's broken. Not sure what's going on with it, but uh, yeah, as uh, Badlands Chugs would say, uh, enough talk. Let's uh, let's just do this. So let's go ahead and pop this on and check some of that. This will be number one here. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time just chatting and talking for no reason. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Okay, well, it did something. Well, okay. Well, it's kind of doing something there. Does it have any sound? Oh, it does. You can hear some sound. It's really, really faint, though. Yeah, very, very faint. It says player one, but yeah, as you guys can see here, this is having some graphic issues. On it. it sounds like it's playing, but it's definitely, yeah, not working. Um, one thing about these boards that, oh, wait, I see something here already. Let's see, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's a gash right there. That's a pretty good cut uh, along that. And the thing about these chips too, this is the, uh, the Konami 04157. These are related to tile maps and like backgrounds and things like that, which may be our problem right there. So, what I think I'm gonna do is try and scrape away some of this solder mask and uh, see if we can fix it. It looks like a pretty good row of traces there. That might change the problem. Ooh, I can see it kind of flickering a little bit. Let me get on that, and uh, this may be a short repair video. <laughs> I don't know, guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and scratch this off a little bit here and then we'll tin it up and yeah give it a go and see how that works see you guys in a bit so uh, apparently while I was uh, thinking I was recording here I wasn't <laughs> so you gotta love that but um, I did wind up soldering uh, these traces down here and bridging those back together and those are in good shape I did notice however uh, one of the legs on these customs and I don't know if I have my, yeah, let's see if I can show you guys here. It's going to be pretty tricky, but um, one of the legs, especially over here, is not connected. Maybe you guys can see that slightly flexing there. Um, it's not connected, and I think that two of these customs here, because they're not connected, may also be another problem. So what I'm going to do is, uh, or what I have been doing here, is going over uh, these customs and trying to flatten them back down. Now, these custom chips have a tendency of either burning out, uh, popping off the board, uh, the legs bridging on them. There's so many different problems that can happen with these. So uh, if you do notice you're having graphic glitches, the reason why I know about these ones a lot is I've repaired a lot of these uh, Konami boards. And uh, if you guys remember that one G.I. Joe board that I brought back to life, that was a huge, uh, had a lot of trouble here with the customs. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going around these ones. What I do is add quite a bit of generous flux here. I know I'm going to wind up going over this sticker here anyway, but add quite a bit of flux. And then we're just going to use uh, some solder first. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to get in on that. There seems to be. Oh, there we go. We can pull that up a little bit. There we go. I can get at the edges here a bit more. But uh, I like to add some solder here on the ends. I should wipe off this tip here. And you can hear it. I mean, when it's really kind of old uh, solder there, you can hear it fizzle and sizz, uh, like, you know, sizzle. You can probably hear that too. Um, and then going back over it with a little bit more flux. Go ahead, add a bit more here. And using a flathead screwdriver, this is one, like I said, 
This is really tricky to do, but try and line this one up just a bit more. Get it in place. And then from the top down here, I'm just going to hold it in place. Add a bit of solder in this place here. It could be lined up a little bit better, but it should be okay. So, something like that. I don't know if you guys will be able to see very clearly or not. Um, kind of zooming in on that. You can see what those uh, pins will look like. So I'm going to go around those, try and clean up the sides here as well as the sides on this part. As you can see, I was going around this, but uh, unfortunately the camera shut off <laughs> or wasn't playing. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more of this, and then we'll go back and give it a test and see how it works. So see you guys in a bit. So, so far I've shown you guys what I've been doing here with these customs and since I've gone around both of these now I'm gonna try and use some rubbing alcohol on a q-tip and uh, go over the pins. Uh, one major thing um, not only with these customs with uh, basically any of these fine pitch custom chips you really want to go over the pins and clean them up before you plug it in because if you don't you might accidentally find that you have a couple of pins bridged and that will be the end of the custom chip if you don't unbridge them before you plug it in. These Konami customs as well as the Capcom one, especially Capcom um, the ones for the CPS1 hardware uh, the C boards. If you mess up on those, you can just kiss that goodbye. That'll be the end of it. So, just using some IPA, isopropyl alcohol, and like I said, I just want to go around these edges here, show you guys. I do a lot of this stuff off camera, but um, you know, just to double check, show you guys what's going on here. And I want to make doubly sure that I didn't bridge any of these pins before I plug it in. <laughs> Usually it's not too bad, and you can see. But that should be kind of good for now, at least be able to check it out. It's going to be hard for me to look through the camera and check this out as well. Maybe I can use my light here just to double check. So, those pins look... Decent, actually, one of them looks a bit iffy. Like I said, you guys are probably going to just see a bunch of Blair Witch Project uh, movement here. Let's see if that looks okay. But I want to go over all of these ones just to make triply sure that we don't have any bridges. Yeah. This is kind of like the tape residue it looks like, but just to be sure, I'll go ahead and go over that again. What is that residue? <clears throat> so you guys just have to bear with me here for a minute. Um, by doing this you can save yourself so much hassle, but if you don't, if you don't look at this very carefully, and inspect it before you plug it back in and be desoldering these things with a uh, hot air station or you know by hand which isn't fun <laughs> so far looks pretty good so we're gonna hope for the best on this one let's go ahead and spin this around I don't know if I made a mistake here or not. But once again, so what we've done is we've cleaned up the uh, cuts over here and we've gone over these two chips. Just plug this in and double check some of that. All right, let's see what we get. Let's turn this off. There we go. Same thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. This is good. Oh. This looks good? Yes! Oh my gosh! Look at that, guys! Woo! She is looking snazzy! That, I would say, is 
perfect, except for the sound. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! It's alive! All right. Well, we've got one board here. Seems to be okay, hopefully. Looks good so far. Did it lock up, please? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no glitches or anything. Let's see what happens if we put in a coin. Yeah, it's looking good. We don't have the guns here to test it out, but uh, just to see if it's working. That looks pretty darn good to me. Oh yeah, all the pinouts are connected to the board, so. But I would say that this is a pretty good success there, guys. So. One board down. About uh, eight more to go here. Yep, looking fantastic. Great. Well, you know what we have to do now to take this off here? The lethal enforcers is no longer broken. It's working perfectly fine. So, we'll go ahead and we'll call this one a, uh, a go. But uh, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. Watching a Konami Lethal Enforcers repair. Looking good. I think eventually it's going to definitely need a, uh, a cap kit here for the sound section, but the sound is working and everything else looks good. So, done.